Hello, I'm Entrelissim and welcome to Let's Play Stellaris 1.3 patch Heinlein uh, with the Leviathan expansion which will be out shortly. So the 1.3 patch uh, tweaks a load of things like planet habitability, um, gribbly aliens in space become less common but more dangerous rather than just being annoying road bumps and also makes it so that uh, ship hulls actually have like defined roles so you can't just have like one ship hull that does everything. Um, the Leviathan's patch adds a load of new events, and it will be really cool to see how these play out. So, let's dive back in, and by popular demand of Twitter, we'll be playing some geckos. Some really cute geckos. So, we're going to be a flatic collectivist, xenophile, despotic empire. Um, I decided that we should be, like, xenophile because of the big eyes. We, like, see all the things. We, like, oh, hi there. We are the Gek Collective. It's nice to meet you. Um, we are weak, rapid breeders, kind of makes sense with tiny little animals, um, communal, conformist, and sedentary. Can't scroll on that, that's annoying. Um, so we, you know, we're big, big, big collectivists, you know, we live in big families, we don't really, you know, get out individuals or whatever, so it should be pretty decent to have, like, a communal conformist, um, it means that people won't, like, diverge and most people will be happy. Uh, sedentary, eh, that's fine. We're gonna go nuclear missiles because... They're kind of a decent start. Hyperspace travel, because it's the one we haven't done an LP on. Hyperspace travel is fast, but you have to go through certain nodes. So if you hit a blocker, you can be kind of stuck for a while. Um, we'll see how that plays out. And then we've got plantoid ships. Just because we haven't really played with plantoid ships. And they're kind of newer. Um, they came out, I think, with the patch before this one. So it'll be interesting to see how, uh, how they look. We're also on an alpine world. Now, this is part of the 1.3 update. The worlds have been changed. So if we go edit, you will notice if we go to... Can I click you? No, I have to go... Uh, where do we find the world? Here we go. Worlds are no longer that seven, I think the seven worlds that were in like a circle. It's now nine worlds in a grid. And that way you can terraform one way or one way or one way or one way. Uh, we're going to be on an alpine world, which is some of the new worlds that have been added. The two new are alpine and savannah, which is dry and frozen. So, you know, dry's over here, frozen's over here, wet's in the middle. Of course, continental is there. If you go up, you get ocean, you go down, you get tropical, frozen, you get arctic and tundra, dry, you get desert and savannah with arid in the middle. I kind of think that, like, maybe these should be organized by, I don't know, like, temperature maybe? So that, like, desert and tropical should be near each other. And I guess tundra, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to be playing on an alpine world, so let's go back. And we're going to be picking you. Uh, we're going to go for a large start. Elliptical, because I don't think we've done elliptical. Advanced air starts are going to knock that up by a notch. AI Empires, 17. Max Fallen Empires, we're going to knock that up to 4, which is going to be interesting. Um, we'll knock AI Empires down 1 to make account for that. Actually, when we open, when we like change this, oh, it has changed the other things. Okay, just to make sure it did change the number of empires. Uh, Habitable Worlds is fine. AI Aggression is fine. Difficulty, fine. Uh, allowed it. Uh, FTL mode, yeah, any. Um, clustered off. Everything else is fine. Okay. So one of the things that's been added with Fallen Empires, I believe from the, I think it's from the expansion, is War in Heaven. So certain uh, Fallen Empires might actually go to war with each other. Which is why I want quite a few of them. Ooh. Hello, new art. These are the new space monsters. The early Kedic periods of our history saw many nation states vying with each other for power until we were that last united under the strongest of these. Only when guided by a single vision could we reach our full potential and an era of stability and scientific progress followed. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane Network, the finest minds in the Get Collective have finished development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are really within our grasp. Begin! Right, okay, um... Let us grab... a science ship. Do a survey. Ooh! We have a blue star. Uh, these relatively young white or blue-white main sequence stars are typically among the most visible to, uh, visible to the naked eye. They are large and rotate very quickly, but will eventually evolve into slower and cooler red giants. They also are very, very hot, uh, hot and quite large. They are pretty potent. Um, that's why they're the most visible, because they are incredibly bright. Hmm. 
Not sure it's particularly viable to live here. There'd be so much solar radiation. But uh, apparently we manage it. Ooh, we've got a grey geck in charge. Grey ones are smarter. Right, let's go for... Um, solar panel network? Colony ship. Ooh, growth time. Minus 10%. Nice. Uh, but we're going to go for colony ship. And... Ooh, fusion missiles or space torpedoes? What do you do for damage? Damage, damage. Uh, 122, 260... Oh, wait. Do you go in a T slot? Oh, maybe this is a new thing. So this is a small, medium, and large size, and these are T. That's cool. Let's have a look. Right, more. Show me the ship designer. Corvette. Do we have a T slot? No. An A slot? What is an A? I don't know what an A is. This is going to be interesting to find out. Uh, for now, since we can't actually use torpedoes in our current hull, we're going to use a fusion missile. Which is going to take a lot longer, but eh. Needs must. Um, actually, it's worth checking what our stats are on these. You've got buff, you've got a buff, you've got a buff. Okay. And if we check our leaders... Anomaly discovery chance. Yeah, that's the right one to be in charge. Okay. Uh, as for down here, the spaceport, we will build ourselves a science ship. Um, we should do... How much food have we got? Four. We've got decent... Ooh! Normally you always start with 16 tiles. We've started an additional two. I wonder why this is. Is it, like, normal? Is that random? Is that, I don't know. Ooh. I'm, I'm intrigued now. I am definitely intrigued. Uh, we're going to build a science lab because an early buff to our science would be very helpful. Oh, we'll put a rally point here. Sure. Oh, it starts with rally point here. Sweet. Okay, I think we're good. I think we'll unpause. The game suddenly uses like a lot of CPU, so there might be a little bit of juddering because uh, all of the other factions in the universe are like, we need to plan our stuff now. So they are planning hard. I'm just going to wait a little while before going on to a higher um, speed. There we go. Now we can go on to a higher speed. We've got a new heir to the Empire. Crown Princess. Complete. Okay. You finish your construction queue. That is fine. You need to get a leader. What have we got? 27-year-old um, with research specialty in industry. Recruitment cost decrease. Honestly, I'm kind of digging the recruitment cost decrease because uh, influence is hard to come by at the moment. Even if you are older. Rigu, you are now in charge of our new fancy ship. Let's go have a look. Out the Ooh, hello. Alpine World 15. Alpine World 22. Ocean World 25. Yeah, you should totally come over here and uh, survey the system. Now, these are the nodes we're going to be using to get around the uh, galaxy. Notice that there's no node going over here, yet it's actually pretty damn close to our uh, capital. That worries me. In terms of getting out of here, we've got one route, two route. Sort of three, I guess. Getting Melrock's going to be important. And then we've got one, two, three, and if you count down here, then this starts to split off as well. But this is why it's very important to have a hold of nodes, because, you know, there will be factions that have hold of other nodes. And we need to grab the ones that we can under our control so we actually have chances to break out and find more things. Now, I believe we've found ourselves some engineering expertise and some minerals. Uh, straight up, we need minerals right now. Very beginning of the game, minerals is always a bit you need. Okay, found anything else interesting? Ooh. That is a lot of mining credits. Construction complete. Uh, oops, wrong one. Surface. 
Okay, so we've done our research there. Now, what do we want to add? Uh, I'm kind of thinking we want to put... We want to clear this, but that's going to be expensive to clear it. Because we'll get the plus two energy. Um, It'll be worth it. But we need to wait until the end of the month. Construction complete. Okay, so we've built that. Next, we'll probably want to build the uh, plus three energy. So we'll get you here ready. We just can't afford it right now. We won't be able to afford it for a few more months. Only just negative for the energy credits. Uh, oh, you can be a rally point yourself. So yeah, one of the new things in the patch is rally points. So this navy's a rally point rather than Gakara. Let's remove Gakara from being a rally point. We'll just leave it at the navy for now. And you're still sciencing. That's fine. Anomaly found. System survey. Oh, hello. Complete. Things are happening. Right. You've been fully surveyed. Failure is 22%. We briefly detect an unusual energy signature emanating from this moon. It might be a glitch in our system that could be for a sign of something more. Totally researching that. We have made a startling find. The planet's team of alien life. <gasps> We've encountered life forms that did not originate on Gakara. This main discovery has silenced those who believe we were alone in the universe. Although none of the... Oh, sorry. Wrong voice. Well, none of the alien creatures found on Eurelian for a sentient. It's only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. <gasps> we gain a load of research. And you have got to uh, two levels. Sweet. Right, let's get you to go do some uh, surveying up here. People are buzzed with the news of the alien organisms discovered on the Gek Hom Tax some time ago. These little evolutionary marvels kindle the Gekonian people uh, a renewed hope of first contact with intelligent beings. Yay! We want to meet all the people! Oh, while approaching Vermityburg, the Pidgejaw Corps suddenly received a glancing hit by several passing mass driver rounds. The projectiles were billions of years old, and based on their trajectory, they appeared to stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. <laughs> Whoops. Really? The chances of that are infinitesimally small. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia until today. The rounds they've discovered are from an advanced design, despite their incredible age. We get some science research. Sweet. I don't like the idea that we go, oh, what is that? Poof. Ow! What did we ever do to you? <laughs> okay, just continue the sciencing for now. Remnants. Weeks after the uh, exploratory survey, xenoarchaeologists, uh, sorry, xenologists are practically falling over themselves to publish their takes on the findings on Vermityburg. The fear of storm in the center of the community has had some negative yet temporary impacts on the pizza in our fields. Aww. Sad face. Come on, we need one month's more uh, materials, and then we can get the outpost here. Expertise materials. Good for him. Oh. Mining station, that'll help us with the energy problem right now. We're still sightseeing over here? Yeah. Not massively found much. I mean, the engineering stuff's helpful, but... Uh, I was hoping for a little bit more in the way of resources. I've had worse starts, put it that way. System survey complete. Construction right. complete. Start surveying up here. You've done your construction. Mm, we need two months more materials. There we go, power plant. That will certainly help with the power situation. Arrakis. Uh, where is that System from, Arrakis? Complete. That is a scientific, uh, a science fiction planet. Arrakis. Is it Dune? I can't remember the life of me. That's bugging me, though. That will bug me for a little while now. Uh, you finish your science. Oh, pretty decent. I think it's time to branch out. Let's, uh... So with this system, the reason I'm serving down here rather than here is that way I can pass through it and we can find if there's anything useful there on my way through. 
because we'll see if there are any like populated um, plants or anything or populatable planets. Situation log oh, system we've encountered survey. alien vessels in Fildram system. Interesting. What are they? Oh, they were like 10k strong. Right next to us, blocking our hmm. construction complete. Okay, we've built our um, thing on the world there. What do we do now? I think more minerals. Is the mineral over here a four? No, it's two twos. Okay. We want to build a mining station here. Uh, construction ship. Let's have a little wander over here just to see what it is. System survey complete. What is this? 10.3k? We need to study these aliens through a special project. Totally doing that. Oh, I'm, it looks so badass. It looks like some sort of like Deep Space Nine-esque space station kind of thing. Yeah, for now we'll just go back to base. Uh, ooh, you aren't doing anything. Yeah, you should totally, um, like, come over here. Anomaly found. Construction oh, 55% failure risk. Debris rolls and swirls under the influence of unknown forces. We're going to leave it be for now. That's too far advanced. 50-50 chance of failure. More than that is just unacceptable. Ooh, communications established. The Artisan Troop. Greetings. Oh, sorry, you're a different voice. Greetings, Ibna. I, Ibna, headmaster of the Artisan Troop. Greet you. What can we do for you? Perhaps produce a work of art for you to enjoy. Or maybe you wish to sponsor our enclave and its creation of otherworldly beauty. Ooh, okay. Um, tell us more about your troop. Uh, we are an artisan troop. The troop consists of several stations inhabited by creators from many worlds, all united in the desire to create beauty in their safe havens. They bring their ideas and methods from all around the galaxy, and together we will um, find the ultimate expression of the self. We've had many services to those who wish. If you help sponsor our work, we might even be willing to organize large events for your people. I wish to become your patron. 25 energy and 25 minerals each month. No deal. Sorry. I'd love to, but no deal. Um, I can't afford that. Also, I would like to speak to you again because I want to talk about commissioning a work. Not that I'll be able to afford it. It's not in factions. Sorry. It should be in... Research complete. Species? Oh, no. It'll be over here. Hi. Thousand minerals and 25 influence. Can't afford that. Sorry. Uh, right, we've got colony ship research. Slave army. We're collectivists, but I'm not sure we want to do the self slave thing. It seems a little bit uh, iffy. Orbital hydroponic farms. Uh, we'll do it because it could be useful, but I, it's generally not something I go for. Right, how are we doing for minerals? Yeah, we can afford more. That said, we should probably be saving up for our first um, colony ship. We need like 253. Okay. Found anything else interesting? No? 
anomaly found. Uh, no, we're gonna leave that. A cursory scan of the planet's surface reveals a weak signal. 55% chance of failure is just, again, like, crazy high. System survey complete. Okay, you're done here. Um... Push further up, I guess, and then we'll do this loop. Ooh, groups of geeks. By the way, the plural for Gek is geeks. Groups of geeks watch a comet streak across the sky of Gekara. The appearance of this lone stellar object caused seeming disproportionate distress, and Gek turned to Gek for assurance that they are not alone. There commits a sign of coming isolation and splintering of Gekian society. Oh no! Comet sighted. Happiness minus 10% for six months. God damn it! Situation Ooh. System survey complete. There are aliens over here. Or oh, there were aliens. God damn it. There's an alpine world there. Interesting. We found fellow wanderers. Okay. Let's go back here very briefly. Huh, I'm not here anymore. Okay, let's go here. Because there's definitely some sort of... Oh, this is where the bait aliens come from. Okay. Yep, this is a homeworld. Hi. Yeah, let's let's not worry too much about your homeworld for now. Um, but we will want to try and push up and grab as much land as possible. I'm totally going to have to talk to you. Just hope you aren't, like, hostile. Uh, no, that'll be inside your influence sphere. Yeah, we're going to have to try and get Arrakis and Yarad. Getting uh, Merop is going to be really important. Otherwise, I won't be able to travel through that. And then I'll lose access to this node over here. So, in fact, we should look at Merop. Because if we can uh, get a colony there, that's grand. Otherwise, we might actually have to splash out for a space station. And they're just expensive. Almost a waste of expense, except for, like, just flag like this is my territory <sighs> oh joy do you have a flag madness city flag no flag no claim but we're gonna end the episode here i've been a trillium if you have enjoyed please remember to like uh, if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing and uh, of course do comment down below since it is a new series with a new patch uh really looking forward to see what's got in store already seen like a couple of interesting things going on with the whole uh collectivist station thingy troop that's the one artist troop uh, and yeah, oh, if you want to actually see videos, remember to click the little bell button next to subscribe that actually notifies your videos. But until next time, stay shiny.